This is example 3.5. It reads, just after a basketball is released by a woman shooting a free throw, the component of the ball's velocity in the horizontal direction is 3.8 meters per second, and the vertical component of the velocity is 4.3 meters per second. Find the magnitude of the ball's resultant total velocity and the direction of the ball's velocity as indicated by the angle theta below. So let's redraw the full body diagram that we have. We know that the total velocity component is the hypotenuse and we know that there's a horizontal component and a vertical component given. This vertical component is 4.3 meters per second and the horizontal component is 3.8 meters per second. This angle is given to us theta. Now we have an equation sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. We can use any of these equations to find both the theta angle and the hypotenuse. I'm just going to use sine in this example. So we're going to find the first hypotenuse in order to plug that back into the equation. Sine of theta equals 4.3 over velocity. So we're going to use sine of theta, which we don't know yet, and we know our opposite of theta is this 4.3 meters per second, and we don't know this hypotenuse. We're going to find the hypotenuse V by the simple equation c squared equals a squared plus b squared. We're just going to use V so that you know which component I'm using. So v squared equals c squared plus b squared. We know c and b are 3.8 and 4.3. So we just plug these into this equation. This turns into v is equal to the square root. When you square these numbers and add them together, we get 32.93. Taking the square root of that number, we get the v component is equal to 5.74 meters per second. So this is component V. I'm just going to redraw this so that you remember what we're working with. We just found V, which is equal to 5.74 meters per second. We had our horizontal component, which is 3.8 meters per second. And we had our vertical component, which is 4.3 meters per second. Now we're going to use sine of theta is equal to 4.3 meters per second over the hypotenuse, which we found is 5.74 meters per second. We have to use this number that we find, which ends up being 0 0.749. We have to take the sine inverse in order to get this angle theta. So the sine inverse of this number ends up being 48.51 degrees, and this is our angle theta.